Let's also try and get in some inputs from some of the activists also joining me on the phone line now, Mr. E. Naganathan. Uh, Mr. Naganathan, uh, what is happening at the moment in uh, several parts of Tamil Nadu? The protesters had an agenda which they have managed to achieve. Then why not to just go back to business as usual and let the law, the legal process, the constitutional process take its own course? It's, 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 it's a problem of uh, suspicion over the present state government. Actually, the state government... Uh, uh, had to fight uh, to the center to form a uh, permanent ordinance, a central ordinance rather than a state ordinance. The failure of the uh, state uh, government in order to convince the central government for an ordinance and uh, coming back without meeting the prime minister, without getting a nod from the president and passing a rapid uh, ordinance, then immediately rushing forward to uh, organize a Jallikat uh, event then, without passing uh, the state, without passing and converting the act in the assembly resolution, raised innumerable suspicions among the state apparatus. Uh, the present state. So it's primarily the suspicion on the, the political class that's raised, driving yeah. these activists. Is that what you are trying to tell us? That it's primarily the suspicion on the agenda of the political class that the is not, uh, you know, really allowing these protests to be accept. Very clear. See the ordinance. Hmm. What they have uh, projected, it is not what is in the ordinance. Was it similar to the act passed in 2009? State government has already passed an act in 2009, which was passed by the Apex Court. What, what difference the ordinance is now? It is completely kept in cloud. It is not very well informed uh, to the students uh, in order to convince them. Now they are approaching a very radical approach and, un, uh, and completely uh, undemocratic approach in order to clear them off. No student was intimidated about what is in the ordinance, what is the component of the ordinance, how it is different from the previous ordinance, and what is the specialty of this ordinance, nothing. It was a hurry and bury method was done, and now they are clearing it in a very, very undemocratic way. No, uh, Mr. Naganathan, if you say that they are doing it in an undemocratic way, that perhaps is not absolutely true because the Chennai police there also requested first the protesters to peacefully, uh, you know, uh, uh, vacate the, 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 the beach shore. The After that, only that they, ha they were the forced to be a bit... Uh, the, protesters, hmm. the protesters demand us from the government. So the police, the police machine apparatus says, come on. So the government the machinery is moving towards a permanent solution. Wouldn't you say that? The assembly session no, no, is already no, the underway. The permanent solution, the permanent solution is the students wanted a amendment of the PC Act, which has to be held as a discussion in the parliament. You know the federal structure. This is a quasi-federal structure. Do you think the state uh, assembly has innumerable powers to override the central constitution? It's, it's not a federal Mr. constitution, it's a quasi-federal constitution. I think Mr. Naganathan, the, the government is now that. saying that the protesters are continuously shifting goalposts. First, they just wanted the ban on Jalikat to be lifted, which has happened. Now, they are shifting goalposts to other see, demands. The, How to deal with this? Jalik, you have to be very clear, the ban on Jalikat, uh, is, 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 the, the case is in the Supreme Court. The Supreme Court has to give the verdict. The, in order to bypass that verdict, this ordinance issue was done. The year, you should clearly understand, uh, students came in forward in the form of Tamil culture. They want to protect their Tamil culture. They don't want any type of interventions in their follow-up. So they came out as a submission group and they wanted some concrete promises, not an hurry-burry interventions from the state. Mr. Naganathan, we'll have to leave it at that with you for the moment. Thanks very much.